All right, here's the fun stuff. Well, the other stuff was fun too, but this is the ephemera that I always save for last because these are the surprise goodies. So I found a lot of playing cards. Um, three of them are airline. This is Sabina, Belgian World Airlines. They're just plain blue on the back with the name of the airline on it. Um, I have two packs of my assorted vintage playing cards left in my shop and when they're gone I will do I'll put these in with along with some of the others that I still have the flower ones and stuff like that then this one is American Airlines this one is Eastern this one, I tried to get it out. I couldn't op I couldn't get it out. I have to tear the box. They were really stuck in that box. There they are. Eastern. I couldn't get it out while I was there because I wasn't going to tear it before I paid for them. So I just thought it was fun to have those three airline ones. And then I got this one, which is Kent Cigarette Advertisement. I don't smoke. never have smoked. But I thought the the cards were fun. Looks like 4th of July in New York City. And they are worn. They were used cards. So they look pretty old. And this set here is fun. This was another cigarette advertisement and it was Virginia Slims. Remember Virginia Slims? But the back just says you've come a long way baby. But look at these. There's the Joker, Ace. The cards are pretty, aren't they? There's the Jack. It's a woman. There's the Queen. And there's the King. They're all women, because they're elite women's cigarettes. I wonder if the other suits have different pictures. They do. How cool. I like her. <laughs> it's the same woman posing for each. This is the same woman in all the club's pictures, so probably the spade has one woman, and etc. All right, and then I have one more set of cards, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these. You let me know. These are Pinochle Gladstone, and they are still wrapped in brown wax paper and sealed, and it says Army. There's a red set and a blue set. If someone is interested in buying these, as is, the paper is, peel is ripping off the red set. The blue one still looks pretty good. Um, let me know. Otherwise, I will break them up and put them in the kits. That's it for playing cards, um, but I did buy one pack of children's cards, which is Hearts, the game of hearts. Paid $4 for this. By the way, the Army army cards I got for $2 for both, both sets, and then the other sets were $3 each. These are cute. I like children's cards. I got some memo minders from the current company. So there's a shopping list pad. These are bright colors. A telephone notepad and a memo pad with a bottle of ink spilling out. Some of those will be in ephemera packs. I found this little plastic Rolodex. I don't want the plastic, but I, I like the cards. 
It has some index cards. They're so tiny and cute. And then it has just the cards without the tabs. So I'll probably be putting some of these cards in my shop. I was bolder in my purchases today because I picked up things that I would not have paid the price for because you guys have been so good at um, um, going to my shop and and purchasing the kits that I put together so I am able to purchase things with higher prices because I'm, I figure I'm going to be getting my money back otherwise I wouldn't be able to buy this stuff not as much of it not nearly as much of it so I this thing was seven I couldn't believe it was seven dollars and it's plastic and really dirty but the cards are cool and I figured I would um, put those cards in ephemera kits but then I also found this one I paid more for that than I thought I did I misread the card Wow okay so I really have to sell stuff um, this has index cards and it has still the writing on them so I'll be putting these in my shop I'll keep some but I'll put some in my shop and it had some oops had some um, business cards that fell out so I thought that was fun all right and then I got 23 of these little cards it says there's three different styles and there are envelopes so there's little birds on branches they're cute some poodles and these pretty silvery cards so pretty the box says poodle notes but obviously they put other little cards inside I found three vintage doll clothes patterns for two dollars that's in really bad shape that one's in bad shape too but I can still use them and I like the inside pages too and the pattern pieces and it was only two dollars for all three and I got a Ziploc bag full of greeting cards and I would not have purchased this because it was expensive um, but I am um, it was thirty dollars for all of these I would never have paid that if I wasn't counting on you um, wanting some of these so I will be dividing these up and putting some in my shop there's a pirate one Valentine she's so cute it must have a spinner thing yeah that's cute another Valentine <laughs> that's adorable I love the old Valentines calling card in there not in very good shape doesn't have a design on it huh that's adorable wedding card congratulations oh this one isn't very PC I'm not even going to show that one Be my Valentine. I wonder if this goes to something else. It's cute. Maybe not. It's dated 1937. 1939, Sunday School. So this is a paper heart with a sticker on it. 
a homemade valentine. There's a lot of valentines in here. Something moves. Oh, <laughs> Kangaroo, that one's torn. Your birthday. Valentine's. Six year old birthday. Ten years old. Happy birthday. A subscription has been entered in your name for Boys Life magazine with birthday greetings from Nami Winters. Ooh, skunks. I smelled a skunk last night. Huh. It's program for a piano recital. 1949. Adorable. Looks like a symbol for Pennsylvania, the Keystone State. I think something's missing here. I hope you're not getting bored. Pretty little fan. Valentine. Oh, I thought maybe it went there. Birthday note to my grandson. Party invitation. Little kittens, aren't they cute? Merry Christmas. That's pretty. That would be nice in a fall journal. Two year old. That's adorable. Aw. Two-year-old. Four-year-old. Christmas. Valentine's. Party invitation. Little remembrance. Geraniums. Valentine. Valentine. This doesn't look so old, but it, I guess it is old. Aww. <laughs> Merry Christmas. That's so cute. Five year old. Birthday. The envelope. Master Russell Monty. I've seen that name on a lot of these cards, so these must belong to the same person, but some of them are girl cards. Whipped up a surprise birthday party. Ooh, invitation. Congratulations. Birthday, birthday, Valentine. Oh, this one's adorable. Birthday, Valentine. 
I like that they have movable parts. Don't sing your blues. I'm high toots. I'm with you. <laughs> Four year old. Aw. Valentine. It's really cute. Another Valentine birthday. Oh, wow. Bang up birthday. Um, here's a birthday. Oh, he's juggling. <laughs> it's not working very well. <laughs> it's a get well card. Dropped in to say hello. We're getting to the bottom of the pile. Birthday. Six year old. Oh, it stands up. Eight year old. Pirates. It's like a little booklet. Oh, it opens up. That's cute. Here we have the story of four happy years. Valentine, huh. seven year old, pretty pansies, another party invitation, birthday greetings, goes like that I guess anyway thinking about your birthday and last say you've got you've got me green-eyed with jealousy but only one green eye <laughs> all right well I'm gonna keep going this will be the longest video I found this weed and company from Buffalo New York want book must be you're supposed to write your wish list in it but i just thought it was a really cool book carriage bolts asphalt roofing but all of these blank pages are lists these will go in journals it's already falling apart it's got it's tied with twine at the top through some holes must be it was hanging hanging in the hardware store or something. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Hardcover. Just wondering if there's a date on it anywhere. I don't see a date. It's pretty neat though. And I can't remember the price. The sticker is gone off it. The it was a label. It wasn't much though, or I wouldn't have picked it up. I got more cards, more greeting cards. There's three different designs. The envelopes are there. There's more of the roses than anything else, and fewer of these. And I got this Dolls of the World. You were supposed to cut them out, sew them, or glue them. I guess so sew them together, and then stuff them. They're printed on heavy cloth. So I'm going to be selling some of these in my shop. If you are interested in a particular country, let me know. We have Scotland, Sweden, Ireland, and it's, it shows it on front and back, but they can be cut apart. Italy, Brazil, China, Norway, Philippines, France, Germany, Greece, England, Poland, Mexico, Czechoslovakia, Alaska, Jerusalem. It's not a country. Oh, but it's dolls of the world, so. Uh, Holland, Wales, and Portugal. So I thought that was fun. 
we're almost done. Oh, I want to show you this. I got this. This was only $2, and there are 70 parcel post labels. So I'm going to be selling some of these. I'm not sure if they'll be individual, like packs of five or something, or if they will be included in ephemera kits. And then I found this. I was looking for a recipe box to put my um, coffee diet index cards and things like that where I can grab them easy. And uh, I didn't realize that this had, when I opened it, it had some uh, vintage cards in it. They're all blank, but they're very vintage looking. They're weathered, aged. I don't need to do anything to them. And the tabs, especially the part that sticks out, is aged. So these are fun. I'll be listing some of these in my shop. I paid $5 for the box. And then I found an even better one. It's a little bit bigger. And the price has gone from this one, but I think it was 4 or $5. Maybe a little more, but look inside. It's beautiful. It has handwriting. Corn flakes candy, candy to make popcorn balls. I love these. This had something glued on it. I think it was this. Molasses, oh, unbaked cake. So I got a recipe box full of cards that are written on. I'm so excited about this. There's even um, things cut out from, this probably came in a cake mix box, but the others were cut out from magazines. So I can't wait to go through these and pour through them. So if you didn't watch the first video in this series of this flea market haul, I'll tell you that I mentioned that I have um, custom orders that I have to do before I get going on these things that I'm going to sell. So don't be looking for them right away, but hmm. I think this was probably a doily package because it has menu suggestions and it says serve it on doilies. So there's all kinds of fun stuff in there. All right, so keep stay tuned. I'll be showing you a couple journals probably before I get any of this stuff listed. I also have the fabrics that I showed you in my Joanne's haul to list. So I'll have wallpaper, wrapping paper, fabrics, ephemera kits, um, journal kits, which are going to take me uh, take me longer to get started. Um, playing cards. I got all kinds of stuff. Greeting cards. So. I will link my shop below just so you know where to find my goodies when I get them listed. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Bye-bye.